This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up with you? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with the updated Mew Mew list. Of course Mew to Mew is famous around the world because it dominates a lot of tournaments. We've seen it uh, of course at the World Championships but also at multiple regionals uh, across Europe and the United States. Mew Mew is a deck that is going uh, nowhere. So uh, Perfection can copy, uh, lets us copy any attacks from our GXs in the discard pile or on our bench. That means we can just uh, copy insane attacks like Turbo Strike, just put Sogalo in the discard pile, we can start using Turbo Strike. We have attacks like uh, Flare of Blitz which can dish out 300 damage for only 4 energy so we can one hit KO almost anything in the game. So that's ge generally very great. We also have uh, McCargo which Lava Flow, our damage output is endless and uh, we have of course sniping capabilities thanks to a Venom Shot of the Naganadel GX. Of course, we have the new uh, inclusion of Megalopunny and Jigglypuff. It's too good not to include. Just for a Welder and an attachment of the turn, we can, of course, get Jumping Balloon off, which dishes out 60 damage uh, plus 60 more for every GX that the opponent has in play. So if the opponent has a heavy base GX deck, we're gonna punish them so badly. Other than that, of course, Cross Division. Make sure I got against one prize decks, uh, of course, like Malamar, we can start using Cross Division. Also, very great against Pidgeotto base decks. Think about uh, Bayball, Cephalon, or maybe the Pidgeotto Control. Very nice to get that Cross Division off at its full potential. There's also one Greninja in here, the one from the Detective Pikachu set. It is a promo one, so very easy to obtain. And we can, of course, use the attack Miss Slash, put uh, Greninja GX in the discard pile, start using Miss Slash with Mewtwo to go through any effect so we can actually hit Keldeo. Marshadow can help us out to get rid of uh, Chaotic Swells or Power Plants that might cause a little bit of havoc here and there. And other than that, the uh, same method is used here, using Welder and getting, of course, Mew Mew powered up. Uh, nowadays, there's water energy in here, but there's also a rainbow energy in here, so uh, we can cover the attack cost, of course, of a psychic energy and a water energy si simultaneously, just to get, of course, mislash off, or maybe you want it to be a psychic type, rainbow energy can provide that. We guard energy is also in here, it's a special energy, and that makes sure that we can get rid of our weakness, and with the power of Guzman Hala, we can search out that special energy while also getting a tool card and a stadium, so very powerful. The, the deck runs on tackle, so you can easily get your tag teams, for example, as Espeon and Deoxys, or your Mew Mew, or whatever uh, uh, tag team that you have in your deck. Uh, even Rash's Art is still part of the deck. Just to go uh, crazy with Double Blaze, very, very powerful indeed. So uh, with Tackle, you can get uh, multiple supporters. You can get your Cynthia and Catelyn, you can get your Mellow and Lana, or you can get your Guzman Hala. So uh, another thing I should note is that uh, Stealthy Hood is also part of this deck for some uh, instances where you come across Mimikyu. Mimikyu can shut down Mew Mew completely and having one of those Stealthy Hoods available to us might help out. This is a Jirachi based engine so getting our Welder will be uh, more easy, uh, actually easier than using of course Acrobike. So we just need to check out if Mew Mew can still compete with the top decks in town. We've seen that it uh, actually was the runner up at the Latin American International so Mew Mew is not going anywhere and uh, the thing is that everybody was like oh no Mimikyu is coming in the set will Mew Mew still be viable everybody was like freaking out but it is still viable and uh, we'll hopefully be able to showcase that in this particular video okay we're up against some fairy stuff we are gonna go first uh, that means we can get uh, hopefully a welder off and if we can get two welders off cross division is only one attack away we already have a welder in hand so that is uh, not too bad we also have cherish ball so we can go crazy with the Dene We'll see how it goes. We also have the Stealthy Hood. Uh, uh, stealthy Hood could help out if uh, the opponent has, of course, one of those nasty Mimikyu's. We'll see. Okay, this is a uh, um, Alolan Ninetales based deck. Uh, this could also come with a Mimikyu with Shrine, so Stealthy Hood, first things first. We're also gonna go with a Cherish Ball and get, of course, uh, the, the Denny out of the deck so we can start uh, getting, of course, rolling. What can we put in a discard pile? Megalopony can also be good, but not in this matchup. Turbo Strike is what we need. It is in the deck, and then we still have three Cherish Balls left, so that should be good. Tackle can search, of course, any tag team. All the tag team supporters are in there, and all the Welder as well. So uh, that is very nice. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put Reshizard in play. I think that's not too bad. And uh, I'm also gonna go with a Welder here. Get one. It's only one energy, but uh, throwing away a welder is bad regardless. So 
So we can get a Jirachi. Jirachi is not too shabby here. We can switch uh, to the Jirachi and uh, we also have Tackle. So, so many options available. We're actually gonna put an energy over here. Tackle can get some uh, uh, Pokemon that we want, like uh, Aspel Deoxys and uh, yeah, might as well thin out the deck here and go for a crazy Dedenne. So let's get these on board. We can switch to Jirachi, but the bad thing is that if we don't draw into something good, it could be detrimental. So, huh. I'm gonna wait with Jirachi because I don't think we'll need it. Only if a Mew Mew goes down, then we will uh, resort to that. So for now, Dedane is going to do the job and get a lot of these Pokemon into this card pile so we can start copying the attacks. Uh, right here we have a Cherish Ball, so even if he smacks down Power Plant, we should be prepared with the Marshadow. Also gonna grab... Hmm... Do we grab the Solgaleo? Yeah, we might as well use the Solgaleo and uh, of course get uh, the, uh, and the... And the discard pile thanks to Cynthia and Catelyn. We could also go for a crazy Welder though. Uh, could wait with one turn because uh, even if we Welder and attach we still won't make it. So we can still save ourselves one turn. I think I'm gonna go for Solgaleo here. And uh, we'll see how we go from there. Also gonna smack this down just to uh, protect ourselves against the crazy might of a Power Plant that potentially could come. This could be like the Alolan Ninetales with the tool cards. So lots of tool cards. He could equip that uh, Ultra Beast. Or actually, not the, the Psychic Fairy Charm. That could actually cause a little bit of havoc. Okay, just a Gnaw. So this deck is breaking already. So that's why we don't play those kinds of decks. So since Young Catlin, we will get rid of the uh, Sogaleo here, which is fantastic. And now uh, we can get uh, even a Welder back. How cool is that? While also drawing three cards. Since Young Catlin, very, very nice. And uh, the Mew Mew list, so three cards, what is this? We can even go for the Danny, but with so many cards in the hand. I think I'm gonna go with this strategy and uh, let's go crazy with, we can cross the vision. Cross the vision, we'll actually get the KO here. Oh boy, 100 damage, that's all we need to do. Like cross the vision, that's game. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, Four. Yeah, get out of here, one prizers. The Aspion and the Oxus just shows you how it's done. Get out of here. So that's why Mew Mew, so versatile, so good. So even if people try a new deck out, they still have to answer against Mewtwo because Mew Mew can copy anything. Okay, that was a quick, easy win. We're definitely gonna play another round here, but you see how consistent Mew Mew is. We have Tackle, getting the right tag teams under this card pile. We have uh, the options to getting Cynthia and Catelyn. Uh, this is also a way to get your uh, welders back. So uh, as you saw in this uh, video. Okay. Hopefully this time we'll see a meta deck, not uh, a rogue deck like uh, the uh, Alolan Ninetales tool deck. We probably had all tools in the hand, if I had to guess. Okay. The meta right now, we have ADP, Arceus, Dalga, Palka, probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest deck in town. Abilities Art is also still a thing. And uh, there are still like... Uh, Archetypes that likes to rely on the Florgus and okay, this is uh, what we want here ADP We'll see how the matchup goes. We won the coin flip. That's fantastic. Definitely against ADP unless they are playing ends resolve They cannot get their attack off very quickly So we have a Mewtwo. We have an attach of the turn, uh, but we don't have a Way to get some more cards, but the giant heart will help to get Solgaleo in the discard pal at least Okay First things first, I'm gonna use this. We're gonna get rid of the Solgaleo. And we are gonna get two energies. Also gonna check here, we have Guzma and Hala. So we can get a Stadium back. We can get a Tool card, which could be the Stealthy Hood. Uh, or also a Skateboard is also neat. And we can also grab a Pokemon, which is gonna be the Dene. Or actually, we don't get a Pokemon, right? Yeah, no, Special Energy, Tool card, and Stadium. Special energy tool card or stadium. Uh, when you play this card, discard two other cards from your hand. Okay, that is not too bad. We're gonna discard these attackers, which do thin out the deck. So we're gonna, yeah, search deck for stadium. Yeah, we're gonna do the full effect of Guzman Hala and get rid of the attacker. So versatile, just getting these back. And we can get a stadium. Probably gonna be getting the giant heart. We also ha already have fire engine, but it's to thin out the deck. So we have this, we have. Skateboard could help out to, so we can retreat into uh, a Jirachi if things get uh, crazy. Although we're gonna go with the Sogaleo anyhow. And we can get a special energy. Getting rid of the weakness. So uh, thinning out the deck is fine like this. So ta -ta -ta -ta. We have a switch and an escape board so if we draw into Jirachi things will go crazy. Okay, now we are just gonna, they don't run any amount of 
Oh, I just got my attached just fire energy. I think it's good. All right. And that's that. No Dedene, no Cherish Ball, no Tackle. So we are in a pickle here. Uh, next turn we could, however, still use the attack of uh, Solgaleo Turbo Strike. And Turbo Strike is very powerful. Okay, we already see a Chaotic Swell, which is very uh, sc scary. We should have checked if Marshadow was in the deck, although he just gives an energy to Lucario Melmetal. A Lily for five. So this Pedro is built, presumably, with the Lilies and stuff. We'll see. Lucario Mel Mel is actually a must in an ADP deck. I uh, did a video on ADP and it actually won me the Gardevoir matchup. And uh, that's very, very nice because Gardevoir typically has like one Dragon Fairy Charm and if they have that, it's very crazy. Okay, uh, we can go. Yeah, here is the tackle. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of the uh, Calyx Well here. I'm not afraid to just smack another one down. We have tackle and what do I actually want? I have a Mew Mew since Young Catelyn, I guess. So we can like use one uh, of the uh, Pokemon to get him ready. Yeah, just gonna use this. Next up, we're gonna go with, with Cynthia and Catelyn. We're gonna get yeah, put a supporter card back, but there's nothing in there. But we can discard a Fire Energy, which is nice. We can Turbo Strike it back on. Oh, actually, we have the Guzman Hollow, which we come back. I forgot. So we got three cards. There's no Dedenne, but there is our Jirachi, which is a uh, fantastic together with the Switch option. Here we go. We're just gonna see here with the Stellar Wish, what do we have? We have a Welder for next turn, fantastic. So I'm gonna equip that Weak Guard energy instead of the Fire energy in this scenario. So we retreat to the Mewtwo so we can start attacking. We're gonna smack down another Mewtwo. We're gonna give this guard a Weak Guard energy and the Welder will be for next turn. And now we go for a crazy Turbo Strike. Bam! There's gonna be one energy attached to the Bench Mewtwo. So we have two Mewtwo's to work with. And this guy only has 160 HP remaining, which is easy if we can snipe it on the bench with 170 damage with Venom Shot later. So with a Welder and uh, yeah, drawing into a Viridian Forest or a Psychic Energy or a Rainbow Energy, we'll get of course the KO on this guy. We can snipe him because Resistance does not count if they are, they are on the bench. Note that down. Yeah, it's very fun playing with Mewtwo. Of course, you have to be afraid of power plant based decks, but uh, I've not seen too many green builds nowadays. Green can get the power plant very quickly, although Gardevoir is still very difficult in my opinion. Sinti and Catelyn, he gets back the Lily, gets three cards. The Lily will not help out uh, if he has so many cards in the hand. So that's why I think building a Lily version of uh, ADP is not the best way. I think the best way is just to... Uh, Hmm, don't drop the lilies, go crazy with uh, full Cynthia. Cynthia Shuffle is probably better in my opinion. Okay, there's a switch. He's going for Jirachi. If we draw into the Viridian Forest or the Psychic Energy or Rainbow Energy, we can actually snipe this guy for three prize cards. Poof, and there's that. What is he gonna do afterwards? Get your... Um... Hmm... Okay... Also, we have to leave our GX uh, open to go uh, over at Keldeo because Keldeo might cause a little bit of havoc. We, can, we don't have an answer against it otherwise. Although, Marshadow can smack 10 damage, which is not gonna help out too much. We'll see. Stealthy Hood. Yeah, Stealthy Hood, I think. I wonder if that. Uh, I have to read that card because uh, the effect. It ignores the effects of the ability. So maybe we can go through Caldeo. I think so. Maybe. We'll have to check. Well, I'm just gonna use Guz Guzman. You can't Guz Guzman Hala for the Stealthy Hood either way. We'll see. But this guy is my main target right now. I'd love to have like. Um, Guzman Hala can get an energy back in the discard pile. Huh. Can get a tool card, special energy, and a stadium. Stadium could be nice to welder on our Pokemon next turn. Okay, he's going to go for a crazy full metal wall GX. And he's going to get rid of all of our energy. If we draw into a switch, it's fine. Full metal wall GX, look at that. Wow. That's crazy. We have the Viridian Forest, so uh, yeah, I don't mind this at all. We're going to Viridian Forest away our Espeon and Deoxys. We're going to get ourselves a fire energy. We're going to fire, actually welder two fire energies onto our Mewtwo right away to respond to that full metal wall da -da -da -da. there's a cherish ball i think in this scenario i will go crazy heavy with the the Dene. yeah if we draw into something like hmm like a treasure do we get the, the Dene right now there's still a welder in my hand oh what to do let's see here we can guzman Hollow away uh yeah mm-hmm 
three energies. Do we get the Dedene or do we get the Macargo? At this point, he does. He probably has Kyrox as well, so I think I'm gonna go for Dedene. Turbo Strike is already enough as it is, and uh, with Cynthia and Catelyn, uh, yeah, we already used that, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna go full crazy with Dedene. That's what I want at this scenario. I'm just gonna be aggressive, attach of the turn. Okay, there's a Cherish Ball again. Maybe another Dedene. Okay, uh, actually Greninja can also go through Caldeo, <laughs> as mentioned before. Let's get this. Um, we can stamp him. I think I'm gonna stamp him right away. With so many cards in the hand, don't want to see him uh, doing anything crazy. We don't have the attachment of the turn, unfortunately. So, uh, no full crazy moves. Although we have an, uh, a way to go with that attack. So, here comes the Turbo Strike again. 100 damage. Actually, 70 damage, thanks to the full metal wall. Reducing the damage. So, now he has 100 HP remaining. What to do about that? We can... 100 HP remaining. And uh, our damage output is reduced by 50. Resistance and full metal wall. Whatever he, he throws at us, we have Giant Heart and a Welder. Okay, here comes ADP. Does he have a tag switch so we can like move all the energies to the ADP? There's a switch. He's still hanging on there. The reason why I used like reset stamp, he had like bazillion cards in the hand. Didn't want to see that at all. Okay. Here, ah, Calyx well, no, Giant Heart is gone, which means we cannot Welder. Ah, we cannot Welder. Mm hmm. Where are our energies? We've been circling around with four energies constantly. The Macargo will go into Discard Pal, though. That means we can use Lava Flow for enough damage to KO this guy. Or we can go with... Yeah, that's the only thing we can. We also have Psychic Club, which is not gonna do too much damage. We only have one Psychic Pokemon on the bench. Yeah, Giant Heart Welder. Maybe we top deck uh, Marshadow. Marshadow could help us out to get rid of that Chaotic Swell. I wonder what he is thinking at the moment. ADP is coming up. Energy to the ADP. Okay, is he gonna sacrifice this Jirachi? Damage output is reduced by 50, which is still enough to knock out just Jirachi. He has, of course, the uh, resistance. That's why it's a reduction of 50 damage instead of the only 30 with the full metal wall. So either he's gonna retreat to... Yeah, he has to be afraid here. If we, like, he doesn't know we have this in the hand, right? We just use the reset stamp from that... Dedane. Since young Catelyn, what is he gonna get back? He can still heal off the damage with Mallow and Lana. Chaotic Swell, he gets rid of Chaotic Swell. There's two in the discard pile. He gets Guzman Hollow. He maybe wants to use my Viridian. Maybe that's the key. Or he's just gonna smack down his own. Um... Maybe he has a metal in the hand. Maybe another Chaotic Swell. Yeah, there's another Chaotic Swell. Oh, I didn't want to see that. It's just horrible. Okay. What is he gonna do? Steel Fist for 50 damage? Is that gonna be the way to go? Steel Fist. We still need one energy. With one energy, we can get the scale easily. So we have the Stealthy Hood. Prevents all effects on your opponent's uh, of your opponent's ability done to the Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Uh, this uh, pure doesn't uh, negate the Pure Heart ability. Hmm. Let's get rid of this again. Hmm. Smacking this down. Go for the Denny, I guess. Da -da -da -da. Okay, we have Great Catcher. We have an attachment, finally, of the turn. Great Catcher will be fine, I guess. Hmm, we only need to knock out two tag teams, right? One switch in the discard pile. I'm gonna use the Cherish Ball, I'm just gonna check here. We have the Marshadow, which can get rid of Kylax well, which is. Okay, they are giving up. They are giving up here. They say like, oh no, with the attachment of the turn, there's no way I could come back. If that Lucario Melmetal uh, sees the discard pal, he doesn't have an answer. And we did not use our uh, GX move yet, so that means we could have like double blazed onto um, yeah, the Keldeo if he might have like dropped it. 
One last round with Mewtwo. Are you guys ready? We're facing off against Dragon Fighting and Metal. Is this Haxorus or some kind of weird build? Or maybe it is... Let's see here. We won the coin flip again. What a day, what a day. It's our turn. Let's shine. We start with Jirachi. So the reason that while well, um, this list is not running two, uh, like four Mewtwo's, is because they now have uh, Jirachi in the list. Helps out a lot with consistency. So, such a great hand. We have like everything. Rampardos, item lock. Ooh. That's a fossil box. Hmm. Fossil box. So, the thing we want to do is get out the cross division as early as possible. We cherish ball, we tackle, we Viridian Forest, we Stellar Wish, hopefully find the welder, and we should go from there. This uh, list will probably run, if I had to guess, the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, yes, to all of them. Here comes the Mulligans. Okay, we have Welder in hand. This is this is gonna be a slaughter, slaughtering this guy. So, Viridian Forest. We're gonna immediately... Do we get rid of the Solgaleo? Solgaleo is probably the best bet. Next turn, we're gonna get rid of the uh, Espeon Deoxys, if it's in the list. Probably gonna get the Fire Energy first. Uh, Spion Deoxys is in here, that's all I needed to know. All the welders are in there as well. Cool. We're gonna thin out the deck immediately. We're gonna get Espeon Deoxys. We're gonna maybe get a... We are gonna welder immediately, so might as well get these guys. Ta-ta! Gonna go for some Cherish Balls. There's gonna be a Dedene. Uh, yeah, we don't need this. Venom Shot could be nice. And thinning out the deck even further. Let's get. Don't need all these guys. Let's get the Dene. <laughs> this is a crazy hand, man. With so uh, many like mulligans, you can go crazy. First things first, we are gonna Welder. And then we're gonna Stellar Wish. Two energies onto Mewtwo. Da -da -da -da. So many cards in hand. Still have the attachment of the turn. We have a Welder for next turn. First, I'm gonna check with this Stellar Wish what we have. We have a switch. Okay, that means we can like get another Jirachi in play. He could immediately smack down some fossils, but I'm not afraid of that. Let's retreat. We have the switch for next turn. Stellar wishing. Yeah, tackle. Thinning out the deck further. We need to find Giant Heart. We have switch, so we can like switch. Yeah, we have two Stellar Wishes left, so might as well give this immediately right here. Tackle. Thinning out the deck is crazy. We have Cynthia and Catelyn, uh, Guzman, Hala, I guess. These cards are fine. Look at our hand. This guy is just gonna shake in his boots. Okay, the only thing we need to find next turn is a simple giant heart. Simple giant heart. That's all we need. Then we can go for cross division and uh, hopefully get a lot of prize cards. At least two, right? Look at our hand. That's insane. The bad news is that we have more bench Pokemon, so item lock might be a thing, but who is afraid of item lock as soon as you've dropped all your items in the discard anyhow? The only thing you like need is like stadiums and supporters, right? Weldering a return. And we have Cynthia and Callan to get back a welder, which is crazy. Stellar Wish. Will he get the Pokemon Research Lab that he desperately needs? Or will he whiff? That always happens, like if you try this uh, kind of like a new Rogue Fossil deck, you just whiff the thing you need most. So two Jirachis as well, that means we're pretty much safe from item lock. He still needs attackers though. I saw an Amistar. Jirachi. Pokemon Research Lab. Why didn't he use the Viridian Force? Did he use the Viridian Force? Nope, not yet. Probably should have done that. That means he would have like ensured his Pokemon Research Lab, but no. Maybe he wants to wait. Use my Viridian, man. Maybe he has all amazing cards in the hand. He doesn't want to get rid of any of them. Fighting energy on a Jirachi. Well, now I've seen... Okay, Pokemon Research Lab. Huh. Why the fighting energy on a Jirachi? Hmm. Unidentified Fossil? You should have gotten that fighting energy over there. And now two... Like Ammonite, I had to guess, and... Uh, train it us, right? Or maybe Tortuga or whatever, what is it is? 
to Jirachi. He's got a lot of stuff on his bench, so we don't need to worry about it too much. We can get rid of his entire consistency, like 70-70, if we uh, have our cross division. And he's left with, like, with lots of Pokemon, but no Jirachis. I think that's the best plan. Jirachis stay asleep, it's fine. We have a stamp. Hmm. Stellar Wish? Another Welder. Oh boy. Oh boy. Next up, we switch. We Stellar Wish for our Giant Heart. The deck is not too thick. There is the Giant Heart, of course. We are no, we know what we're doing right here. So here comes the Giant Heart, get rid of that stupid fossil. Let's get Deoxys in the discard pile immediately and get ourselves two energy. Next up, we are gonna, yeah, we have everything we need. So we are just gonna Welder onto Mewtwo. The only thing we need is like a Psychic Energy. Regard Energy is not a Psychic Energy. So many resources in the hand though. Are we greedy enough to go with the crazy play? Smacking down this. All these cards are irrelevant. How many welders in the discard pile? Two. Cherish Ball. Might as well get this guy as well. Are we greedy enough? Hmm. I guess I want my psychic energy. I'm sorry. Just gotta do it. <laughs> All these cards go away. Yeah, it's it's okay. Everything goes away. Water energy. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see at all. Okay, Mallow and Lana. So we can actually heal if need be. So, that was very crazy. Don't have the psychic energy. We do have the water energy. Yeah, water energy over here. And now we're just gonna go with a good old turbo strike for the KO. We still have access to uh, the, um, what was it that I wanted to say here? Cross Division, so we can still take out two Pokemon. We at least got one Jirachi. And uh, he still needs lots of attachments here. Okay, Rampardos is in town. And this guy can knock out any basic Pokemon with three attachments. Pretty scary, 150 HP, I would have loved to have it like 140, that means it is a little bit more easy to just get two KOs here. Two Jirachis again. We still have a stamp, so even if he knocks out Mewtwo and we get rid of two Jirachis, we should be fine. We can Venom Shot this guy. Yeah, I think Venom Shot is actually not a bad option. Venom Shot followed up by a Turbo Strike. That's it. We can Mala and Lana for the switch, and then we can Stellar Wish, hopefully for Viridian Forest. Oh no, Viridian Forest is already in the discard pile. We need to actually draw some more cards. Do we use another Dedania? I think that's way too risky. There's not a lot of cards left in the deck. Yeah, we need that Psychic Energy so badly. Maybe we should have gotten it earlier. If this guy is getting ready, he only needs one more attachment. We need to Venom Shot this guy. I'm not worried about this guy, we're just gonna Phantom Shot this guy, followed it up by a Turbo Strike, should be fine, building up another Mewtwo and just finishing the game but from there. Energy Switch, oh boy, now I understand why he attached to the Jirachi, this is scary, he can knock us out immediately, oof, that is, we're gonna get destroyed by our Rogue Rapper those. wow, okay, now I understand the Energy Switch part. Wild Crash, immediate knockout. Wow, that's just nice. We're, Mewtwo is great, but against this Rogue Rampardos deck, it is actually showing us how it's done. So, we can maybe stamp this guy. That's what we're gonna do here. It's looking pretty scary, though. We have the Psychic Energy, one turn too late, though. Okay, what to do about this? We first, we stamp this guy. We don't have stuff left. Ah, attachment of the turn goes here. We can mellow and lawn off. Just, uh, not a lot of stuff we can do at this point. Stellar Wish, a Welder. There's still fire in the deck though. Maybe we draw it out of the deck soon. Retreat. This guy, he could actually get a, an Omnistar if he has a candy and all that. 
Here comes the yeah, Puff Smasher could also like do the trick. Maybe. Yeah, Puff Smasher could have also done the trick. Oh, here it goes. Turbo Strike. If he has an energy, we're done for. I wonder if he has it. Whoa, there they go. The energy's on the Elder Mewtwo. Will he have it? One fighting energy is all he needs. If he whips it, we're good. We stamped him, right? Nothing I did wrong. Communication. The Dene? Does he have it, the Dene? If he has it, the Dene, he can get out of this nasty situation. Maybe it's Price. Maybe he doesn't run it. Maybe he brings Almanite to the table. Crane does. Okay, he's just slowly building up another one on the bench. Can understand that. But now we're gonna go crazy and just try and target him down. Buff Smasher, how many energies do we need? You need at least four extra energies, so five. Dayton lies over the shuffle, we're done for. He has an energy, we are done for. Probably. How many energies in your discard pile? Zero. How many energies does he run? That is the better question. Doesn't seem too eager to attach. Maybe we uh, still get out of this nasty scenario. He can smack 60 damage. Ooh boy. Great catcher will not help. Mm-hmm. Okay, ener super boost energy. Ooh. That's scary. Now he can smack 60 damage. I get it. But super boost can activate as soon as he gets another evolution. Okay, he retreats, goes to Jirachi, and he says, you can have this Jirachi, and as soon as he evolves, we're done for. There's nothing we can do. We could target them down with Venom Shell, but we need two fire energies, and we already like... Yeah, maybe Giant Heart. Giant Heart could help out. How many welders? We only have one welder left. We need a Giant Heart. Top deck Giant Heart. Look at it. Come on, man. Stellar wishing. Super boost energy. That's crazy, man. He manually retreated. Ramper those is scary. So scary. And if he not if he doesn't attack, he can still use Pokemon Research Life. So I like the build, what he's uh, trying to do here. Going after the tag teams. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Don't leave us waiting. Hello? Is he still in there? Okay, yeah. Alright, what to do? We have a fire range, so we can at least welder, but that's not enough. We need to target this guy immediately. We could go for like... Cross Division will not help out too much. Mm-hmm. Welder for one. I guess it's a welder for one. Good old welder for one. Yeah, there's nothing we can do at this point. I think we just have to go for Cross Division. Knock this guy out so he doesn't get another uh, Stage 2 in play. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, we could set this guy up, but I'm gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get out of here, Rampardos and Jirachi. Boom. So now we got two prize cards. So we're equal in prize cards. The uh, fighting stuff uh, still is not activating. Giant Heart, getting us another energy. We don't have any welders left though. This guy can easily set up, but he only has a super boost energy. This counts as a rainbow energy, so we can slowly set this up. And if we manage to just snipe it, we should be good. Cynthia, we have two attachments left. Yeah, we can only snipe him with Venom Shot. And we have the Venom Shot available to us after we've attached this uh, Weak Guard energy. Okay, a Ramper Dose popping up. Stellar Wish. Oh, this is a longer game than I thought. Longer game than I thought. Uh, what to do about this? So we Venom Shot this guy. He probably has an attach of the turn there. Come on, man. Great catcher. Okay, he can stall us out. If we don't have a switch anymore. Ah. That's too bad. He can great catch with the Danny or something. So we cannot Venom Shot. Ah, no! He's probably doing that. 
two switches in the discard pile. We cannot do anything about it. So, oh, he's just targeting Mewtwo. We just manually retreat and Venom Shot. That's fine. It's fine as it is. Okay, Giant Heart. We are gonna use Giant Heart, get rid of this guy. Get Fire Energy. We get Fire Energy over here. We retreat. And we Venom Shot. Venom Shot. There we go, this guy, please. And we get rid of uh, Water Energy and Fire Energy. There we go. <laughs> He's mad! Hooray! Okay, what now? What now? I can still do the Jirachi. The only thing we need to do is get rid of this Rampardos and we should be good. There's like three Rampardos in a deck like this, not four, right? Two more Pokemon to knock out. We have, if he retreats to this, we can knock him out with... Yeah, the Makargo will be the last one, but we still have lots of actions left. What to do? We still have like a Weed Guard energy in the deck and... Yeah, it looks like we have a Weed Guard energy over here as well. Guzman Hala. What is he gonna get with that? Stadium card? Tool card? Skateboard? Mm. Guzman Hala. He's gonna get rid of two cards. Doesn't have a lot of cards left. Yeah, he gets rid of another Ramper though, so that's his third one. Oof. Crazy. Research Lab, Karate Belt. Does he have a Fighting Energy of the turn though? Fighting Energy of the turn. Okay, the Unit Energy of the turn is very crucial. Karate Belt is also very crucial, so he still needs... If we knock out this Jirachi, it still could be over. Pokemon Research Lab, thinning out the deck. Hmm, what to do now? This guy has 150, we cannot snipe him. We don't have any Welders left, unfortunately. Hmm... Probably gonna be using the attack Turbo Strike and hope for the best. Okay, Aerodactyl is popping up. Aerodactyl is popping up. Okay, what am I gonna do is just attach of the turn and we're gonna go with maybe just gonna use treasure here getting rid of this see what's left in the deck there's only yeah, psychic and rainbow both are fine yeah i'm just gonna get out the uh, greninja as well so we can increase the chance of us drawing into that we still have the denny so it's fine either way so here comes hmm do we leave this guy in the st uh, stuck in the active how many skateboards one yeah he still has more switching cards presumably here comes Turbo Strike. Yeah, two fires is fine. Ta da! Yeah. The only thing we need to do is uh, knock out one of his Pokemon, and we should be the victor in this uh, particular match. So Mewtwo still rocking. If he has an energy, he knocks us out. It's all. Oh, Cynthia, no! That, did he already have that? Who knows? Let's see if he has the energy. If he has the energy, that is well played. That is well played, sir. Very nicely done. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content. And now we'll be seeing you guys later. Here comes Rampardos. Yeah, that was close indeed. <laughs> yeah, till next time, guys. Peace out.